I have decided something. Youth is a time for the adventures of the body. Age is a time for the triumphs of the mind. The Bible says it a little differently. Basically, the Bible says in the Old Testament, young men are for war. Old men are for counsel. So I've decided to work with every young person I can and tell you that it is time for the young men among us to go to war against the devil, to go to war against sin, to go to war in this world. And you've got the power that can absolutely rout it out because there is no devil in hell. There is no combination of devils. There is no ism or schism that can even compare with the power of God. God that is inside of you, this resurrection power. And you've got the name of Jesus, the name that every devil in hell trembles at when you speak it. Because when you cry out the name of Jesus, devils loose their tentacles. They back off. Healing the katokorisha. Healing ensues in your body. Cancer cells dry up and disappear. Lungs clear. <laughs> Blind eyes see. Deaf ears hear. That's the kind of Jesus I serve. That is the only kind of Jesus I'm going to serve. I do not serve a dead figure hanging on a crucifix. The cross is empty. The tomb is empty. But my life, my hands, my heart, my mind, my very soul is alive with the power of this resurrected one. His name is Jesus. I feel like shouting the name of Jesus. Oh, I think you can do it better than that. Just shout one more time. Jesus! Oh. Let your voice out. There is a, an anointing in the voices in this place. There is a harakarashaka. There is a rumbling. There is a roar in the voices of believers. We shout the victory. We shout the name of Jesus. We shout the praises of the Most High. We worship you. But as I was saying, I had no idea there's anything wrong with me. This is what I've learned. I don't have yesterday, it's gone. I don't have tomorrow. It's not here yet. All I have is this moment in time. And so I've decided I'm going to make the most of this moment in time because it's all I have. No matter what comes walking down the road of my life, I make the most I can get out of it because I may not have another moment. I already fell dead instantaneously. It could happen again in the next second. But in this second, I'm alive and I'm going to get the most out of it I can get. And one of the things I'm going to do is give Jesus everything I can give him because he is worth living for. He's worth dying for. He's worth shouting for. If you're ever going to be a fanatic, be a fanatic about Jesus. If you're ever going to be something, and you really want to be demonstrative, get demonstrative about Jesus. He's worth it. He's worth shouting for. He's worth it because the Bible is true. He's like a fire shut up in your bones that cannot be contained. Look at your neighbor, look him right in the eye and say, I've got what he's talking about. <laughs> look back and say, well, then why don't you act like it? <laughs> say now. 
I mean, why not, people? We're here to celebrate tonight. We're here to worship Jesus. We're here to go to the heavenlies. We're here to get involved with the presence of God. We're here. We've come here to shout, to dance, to worship, to lift up our feet, our hands, our voices in praise to him. In Jesus' name. There are miraculous things taking place in our 